Hi everyone. Let's take a look at how quickly and easily you can sign up for 1617 accounts that are compatible with Ping FM. The first thing you'll want to do is open Directory Submitter, and it should look something like this. The next thing you'll want to do is open Spartan Multi Clipboard, and it will look like this. And if you don't have Spartan, you really should get it. It's it's really an essential uh, a tool for PC. Now I'm going to resize it so it takes up less screen space. And let's about like this should do. And move it over here. Now the next thing you want to do in Directory Submitter is come up to Settings, Manage Profiles, and we're going to add a new profile. Let's call this Ping FM. Directory Submitter was created with the intention of submitting your websites to various web directories. And since we're using it for a different purpose, which is to create accounts on various uh, Web 2.0 properties, we don't need this information. However, Directory Submitter requires that something be filled in. So just to be happy, just enter a character into each box and click next. Same here, just to make Directory Submitter happy. And when we get to this screen, this is the screen that's relevant for our purposes. Now fill in your, your name. You can use your real name if you're going to brand yourself or use a fictitious name if you want to be private and protect your privacy. So let's go with John. Email address. your username, the password. Now at this step what you want to do is copy this information and as it's copied you'll see it entered into Spartan over here. Let's enter something here just to make Directory Submitter happy. And the same here and click Finish. And click the Close button the next thing we'll want to do is come up here and select the profile we just created and come down to the filter and create and excuse me and click ping FM premium and this will load the websites where we want to create about 16 or 17 accounts that we can hook up with ping FM a directory submitter when I click on each of these it's going to open it in a tab and Directory Submitter will only let you open 10 tabs at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and click about half of these and get them to load here. We come over to Blogger and we'll see most of the information has been filled out. And this is where we use Spartan to fill in anything that was missed. This, prevents, uh, this saves you a lot of typing, repetitive things. Fill out your gender, your birthday. And this is something that we didn't account for. What I like to do is, whenever I come across something like this, to fill it in, and then I copy it to Spartan. This is so, in case I need to use it again. In, in our case right now, we won't use this, but I'm just showing you for future reference. Anytime I enter new information, I copy it to Spartan. In this case, we'll fill in the CAPTCHA, click Continue. Come to Delicious. Over here, we just need to hit a username. Click Join. My username, we need John Doe. And we need another password. Fill in the CAPTCHA. Continue. Facebook. Re enter email that was missed. New password. Select, select, select. Click Sign Up. Okay. Friend feed. Looks like we missed everything, but it's no big deal. Hit first name, blank space. Whoops, didn't work. First name, blank space, John Doe. Email address. Password. Password. Click register. High five. What you'll notice here is 
uh, the high five updated they changed their registration page it's no big deal click join you can find it we'll browse to it and you'll see fill in your information it's filled in just gotta do your birthday click register come over to Identica confirm your password home page you can put that if you want a bio your location fill in the captcha and be careful about this you can leave if you don't want to sign up fine come over to LinkedIn join new live journal same thing my username go password password select gender birthday fill in the captcha pretty easy now close use this X to close all the tabs click on each of these and repeat the process user ID my username is already in use and let me show you this is what I like to do when something like this happens see now you're gonna have one unique name that none of the others would accept so what I like to do is I copy I find a, a unique one I create a unique one that's available so I copy the domain name and I copy the unique username and those appear here now in Spartan these yellow tabs are temporary and if I copy too many of these will start being replaced but to make them permanent you just slide them over here and Spartan will collect them and this way I know multiply has this unique name all the others use share the same share a common username but I want to keep track and this will let me do this it's just an easy way to stay organized now you just go through the rest of the accounts and, and fill in just like we did before you see almost all of your information is filled in what you're missing anything you're missing you just use Spartan to fill in and, and you, you do very little typing and again let me come over here and you can see this and you can repeat this process if you want to set up multiple ping FM accounts with multiple web 2 uh, I don't know if these really qualify as web 2.0 accounts they're close and, and you can do this for different projects this is so fast and easy it's much easier than using what's called the uh, totally automatic account creators by the time you learn what they're doing and whether they make mistakes or not you know you're far better off in most cases uh, using this system unless you're going to create you know dozens or or more accounts if you're going to create one to ten accounts this system is good it, it, it's better and cheaper than a fully automated system I hope this is a big help to you and I'll see you in the next video bye